In this class, you'll study about reassociating a dimension to an object in a drawing. When a dimension is not associated to an object, changes in these dimensions are not automatically refreshed in dimensions. Dimensions become unassociated to the object when the end of the dimension is moved separately from the object. Or when editing changes the type of object, such as, for example, when a polyline is exploded. In these cases, you can reassociate the dimension by clicking the Reassociate command on the Dimensions panel on the Annotate tab. It's quite simple to apply this command. After enabling it, you'll be required to reassociate the dimension. After selecting, you have to reassociate the end of the dimension. Then you select an existing point in the drawing. After that, you are requested to define the second point. Now click the second point on the geometry. Automatically, the dimension is reassociated to the object. See now how, when you change the measurement of the geometry, the dimension displays the new dimension. There are cases when reassociation is done just between two points. Take a look at this example. The second point of the dimension is associated to the object. Enable the command and select the dimension to be reassociated. As the first point is already associated to the part, you just have to change the second point. You make this change by clicking the Down key and then selecting Next on the displayed menu. Now select the second point for reassociation. The process is finished. The dimension is now completely associated to the geometry. In this class, you've studied how to reassociate dimensions to objects in your drawings.